everyone. There's so much buzz about going plant-based these days, but what does that really mean? Are the health benefits really that significant? And does this have to be an all-at-once dietary shift, or can we just slowly start incorporating plant-based options? We've got the one and only Dr. Joey Schulman here. She's got all the answers um, and everything you need to know about going plant-based and mm -hmm. if it's the right decision for you. So. Let's just start by saying, um, by talking about what is a plant-based diet. Like, what do we mean by that? So it's exactly how it sounds. It's mm -hmm. foods derived from nature. Plant-based fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, mm. seeds, oils. It is non-processed. So uh, you don't have to do all at once, Trace. You can mm -hmm. do a little bit at a time. But the research is very clear. It is the healthiest way to go. Because these things are growing out of the ground, yeah. right? So they're the purest things growing on the planet. It makes perfect sense to me that it would make sense to eat plant-based. You, um, you have sort of mentioned whole food, like plant-based but whole food plant-based. Tell us what that means. So whole food plant-based is where I want to sort of gently shift people. Because yeah. we can go plant-based, which would be like processed veggie dogs and pepperoni. Right. And that stuff's okay on occasion. Yeah. To me... This isn't food. Mm -hmm. This is not nourishment. We want whole plant-based. Whole foods okay. plant-based means that it's actually coming in its actual form. It's non-processed. It's not refined flours or sugars. Mm -hmm. It is not packaged. And for the most part, if you're going whole foods plant-based, we're cognitive of ethical farming, regenerative farming, going organic. So I'm going to be posting on CityLine.tv how you can go organic and mm -hmm. still stick to a budget, sort of the clean 15 versus the dirty dozen. Good. Um, and a Whole Foods plant-based grocery list. It does not have to take more time or more money. I can show you how to do it. Okay, well, I'm happy you mentioned the processed stuff because I think a lot of people, as we're trolling the grocery aisles, now we're seeing all these plant-based processed foods, and you think, yes. oh, well, I want to be healthy. I'm yeah. going to get the fake meat sausage. And... It's a treat. It's supposed to be a treat, right? It is. And it's they not have, for every day. It's not for every day. And read your labels, even yeah. with that sort of stuff. There's a lot of fillers snuck in. Yes. If you don't understand the word on the ingredient list, neither does your body. Got <laughs> it. Neither does your body. Stay away. A strawberry yeah. is just strawberry. Exactly. So then that's okay for you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, does eating plant-based automatically mean you are vegan? No, no, not at all. So I'm primarily plant-based. I yeah. eat eggs and fish. Mm -hmm. um, I don't love labels, but if we're going to label what I am, I'm, I guess, a flexitarian. Yes. Um, Everybody is biochemically, biochemically different. Your yes. bi biology is different than mine. So mm -hmm. um, some people are very good going vegan. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't for me. I tried it for a long time. You don't have to be vegan to be whole food plant-based. Very confusing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. And I like that you mentioned we all have a different biochemistry because yes. I've had friends that were vegetarian and then vegan and then started eating meat in pregnancy yes. and then went off the meat after pregnancy. So your body knows what's up. Your body's going to tell you what it needs. And your body has seasons of change. So yes. if once you were a vegetarian and it doesn't feel right, yeah. pay attention to what your body, your body knows what to do. It knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, if there's anyone out there like hanging on to that chicken drumstick and watching this, <laughs> this segment and they need a little bit more convincing, uh, what else would you say might be positive about a plant-based yeah. lifestyle? So the health benefits are pretty clear. As yeah. far as weight, we know a plant-based lifestyle, whether you have mango salad, bean salad, you can have beautiful quinoa salad, all this yummy plant-based stuff, mm -hmm. higher in fiber, mm -hmm. doesn't bounce sugar. So you just naturally shed weight. Yeah. And research shows that you shed the weight and you keep the weight off. Right. So that's important. Mm -hmm. For brain health, for cognitive decline, for things like Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. it appears that a primarily plant-based lifestyle is very beneficial. Okay. For heart disease, cancer, lowering cholesterol, and stroke, it appears that going plant-based contains phytochemicals and nutrients, which are good plant chemicals that can help with disease prevention. Yeah. We always want to try and get someone before something happens, yes. not after. After takes a lot more work. Yeah, so if we can focus on prevention, mm -hmm. that's better. And then also the environment. Very good for the environment, right? Wow, it really is. Your environmental mm -hmm. footprint goes way down. The yeah. emissions are way down. And it takes 50% less water to eat plant-based. Ah. So that alone, I mean, the environmental footprint is very compelling. Yeah, very good. I love that. Okay. Now, one thing that I'm seeing pop up on Instagram and on okay. Facebook, no wellness challenge this year. There are so I many know. people that, like, they, they 
plan their clocks based on our wellness challenge. So let's talk a little bit about why no wellness challenge and what we're going to have to have people's backs. So no wellness challenge due to the pandemic, due yes. to COVID. It was yeah. just a little bit too tricky, but Facebook still exists for everybody. Yes. Meal plans are still there. Mm -hmm. Um, we've been working behind the scenes. We have really exciting shows coming up. So it's not as though we're not going to have the content for health and wellness, but yeah. this year we're focusing on feel better, guys. Yeah. What can we do for prevention, for mm -hmm. wellness, for immune system function naturally? So it's a feel better sort of year. Oh, I love that. Because yeah. who doesn't want to feel better? 